Welcome to the examples on the topic of PC-based automation with WinAC. The example you see is called Visualization with Visual Basic.net and OPC XML. The example is based on a virtual mixing and bottling plant for soft drinks, which you see displayed in the schematic diagram. We now focus on the area inside the red frame. A visualization application is to exchange data with the WinAC RTX controller via the OPC XML interface of the SimaticNet OPC server. The visualization application was developed with Microsoft Visual Basic.net and can be used unchanged on local as well as on remote PCs. Let us now consider the components which are being used. PC-based controllers can run on any standard industrial PC. Siemens offers a whole range of devices to choose from. The software PLC Simatic WinAC RTX has been installed on the PC. An Ethernet interface has been integrated into all Simatic industrial PCs. The Internet Information Services are part of the Windows operating system and provide access to the XML interface of the SimaticNet OPC server. The visualization program requires the .NET framework by Microsoft, a specific software runtime environment. For local operator control and monitoring, the visualization program has been installed on the industrial PC. Configuration and programming of WinAC RTX is performed with a programming device, for example, the Simatic Field PG. Step 7 version 5.3 has been installed on this PG. The visualization program was programmed with Microsoft Visual Studio.net, which may optionally be installed on the PG. In this example, the PG is simultaneously used as a visualization station. The visualization program, as well as the .NET framework, have been installed on this PG. You will now learn how data exchange works between the visualization program and the WinAC RTX controller. The WinAC RTX controller, which controls the mixing process, runs on the industrial PC. Exchanging process data via OPC requires the OPC server of the PC station to be configured with Step 7. Data exchange between WinAC RTX and the OPC server occurs via an S7 connection configured with the tool NetPro. The OPC server provides the process data to the OPC clients via different interfaces. In this example, we use the platform-independent OPC XML interface. This enables easy access to the process data via local network, intranet, or the internet. From the visualization program, the OPC server is accessed via the web server of the Internet Information Services. The access rights to the OPC server can be defined in the web server of the Internet Information Services. Data exchange between the visualization program and the OPC server occurs asynchronously. The visualization program first sends a request to the OPC server, for example for read or write access. After the requests have been processed, the OPC server reports back the result, for example the values of the requested process variables. Using the visualization program on a remote PC is no different from a local application. The OPC server can be reached without problems from a local network, the intranet or the internet. Using a Visual Basic .NET program for visualizing and using the OPC XML interface for data exchange offers you multiple benefits. Visual Basic .NET enables realizing any complex user interfaces and functions according to your individual requirements. The platform independence of the OPC XML interface enables data exchange with systems other than Windows for example, Unix systems. The Visual Basic .NET visualization program can be distributed easily and cost-efficiently between many visualization stations. 
Using the OPC XML interface gives you easy access to process data on your system from anywhere in the world via the Internet. Using the same visualization program on any number of stations minimizes maintenance costs by means of a centralized software administration.